Hi friends! Welcome back to Road Just Travel, the number one place for traveling millennials. If you'd like some more tips on how to travel more for less, be sure to subscribe and hit the bell so you don't miss anything. I post new videos every Sunday. So at this point, we're all feeling really fatigued by the quarantine. We miss going outside, we miss the great outdoors, we miss doing things you've probably had to have to cancel a vacation because of all that's going on. It sucks. In this video, I'm gonna talk about ways that you can get that little travel fix, itch that little travel itch without leaving home. Obviously, nothing that you're doing at home will make you feel 100% like you're lounging in a Spanish villa, but you know, there's some things that you can do to break up the mundane and have a little fun staying at home. Now this is the easiest one because you can do it just by sitting on your couch. If you're looking for some amazing shows to watch, Netflix has a ton. You can also check out stuff like Parts Unknown, Travels with My Father, um, and there's a whole series about Yosemite that's gorgeous, about Yosemite National Park. Um, there is Planet Earth. There's a lot of those types of shows out there, movies out there. The Planet Earth, I guess it's a series of movies? I don't know. There are so many options. There's even like food related shows like No Reservations and Ugly Delicious. Some really good options out there. If you're looking for some great travel inspo via YouTube, then there's some great people on here too, just to name a few. There's Sorel Amour, The Vaga Brothers, Lost LeBlanc, and one of my favorites is Walter's World who does more educational stuff about traveling, but some great things to know, things to do, things to not do, things to remember, stuff like that. Um, really great options there. Also, Psycho Traveler is another favorite of mine. She's this amazing British woman that I just wanna be best friends with. So check her out too. And those are just a few options. Do you have a favorite travel YouTuber that you like to watch for like inspo on where to go? Besides me, of course. Let me know in the comments. We all know someone who lives in another country. Might as well just give them a call, catch up, see how they're doing, see what they're up to, see how they're passing the time in quarantine, maybe see what they're cooking or baking, get a recipe from them. There's a lot of stuff you can do. Just make sure you know their time zone so you don't call them at one in the morning. It's an easy way to kind of fill up your social cup while learning something new or getting a new recipe or, I don't know, just killing some time because we all got time to kill. It's an easy way to fill up your social cup, make you a little happier, and also feel like you're connecting with another culture. Listen, we've all got lots of time, right? You might as well use some of that time looking at amazing photos of places that you have traveled to. I love looking at old photos, especially of old vacations. My husband and I took a three-week Euro trip in 2019 for our honeymoon. Um, and we went to four different countries and it was amazing and I have so many fond memories of those three weeks and pretty much once a month I go through my phone and look at all these fun old pictures that we took and look at all my like story highlights and stuff from that, that trip like it was just it makes me kind of feel better even though I can't travel it puts me back in that place of like oh remember this it was marvelous you can find a bunch of old pictures from a trip get them printed out um, you can either have them mailed to you, you can go pick them up at some company near you that does printing, and um, make a scrapbook with them. Scrapbooks are really nice to have on your coffee table so you can show people when they visit or you can just flip through them every year or so to like relive those memories. I don't know, I enjoy scrapbooking and scrapbooking old vacation photos is a great way to spend an afternoon. Now I have been doing this a lot and it is such a great way to shake things up and give you a taste of something a little bit different. One of the best things about traveling is the decadent, delicious, amazing food that you eat when you're traveling. So why not replicate that experience to the best that you can without having to leave your house? So how do you do this? If you live in a city with a bunch of different foods to choose from, order delivery or takeout from somewhere that you normally wouldn't go to, like try that new Ethiopian place or try the tapas place, try Lebanese food. Just find a place that you have never eaten their cuisine from or you don't usually eat cuisine from and try it. Maybe there's not a lot of restaurants that you have that are different where you live, but you could try to find the most uh, different thing on the menu of the restaurants you go to and order something that you normally wouldn't order because you might be shocked that you actually love it. There's no harm in trying something new. Bonus points if you go to a restaurant and you order something that you've never ordered before and you never would normally order because there is no harm in trying something new. 
Maybe you don't have a myriad of different restaurants near you. Maybe ordering takeout from a different kind of fun restaurant isn't an option for you. Then cook something. I've been having a lot of fun. I got two new cookbooks that are just switching up my whole cooking game. The first book is Deshoom's cookbook. Uh, Deshoom is a very iconic uh, Indian restaurant in London that is delicious. If you, whenever we can travel again, the next time you go to London, go to Deshoom. Um, the recipes in here are phenomenal. And if I can't be in London eating at Deshoom, I'm happy to be cooking them at home. The next one is called Japanesey, which these are all things I'm planning on making, um, but this is a vegan Japanese cookbook. The reason why I love these cookbooks is I don't particularly have any experience pre previously of cooking uh, Japanese or Indian food. And not only that, but growing up, I didn't have that much access to these cuisines, so I just have a lot to learn, and it's been so fun learning. If you don't really want to buy any cookbooks, you can do something for free. It is what I call Google Recipe Roulette, and it's where you just search a cuisine or a country and just search that plus recipe and just cook the first thing that comes up. If you want to be less daring, maybe you could Google what traditional dishes are from a certain country and then find one that seems like you would be able to cook it and like you'd enjoy it and cook it. You might need to find specific spices or ingredients either in its own store or in a certain section of your grocery store. And if you don't have access to those, you might need to just order them online. But I promise you, as someone who has had to do this, had to go to different grocery stores to find different things, go to different parts of town, uh, order stuff online, it's kind of part of the adventure and it's really fun. It's like a scavenger hunt, but with food, delicious food. So of course, once quarantine is over and it's safe to travel, there's a vaccine, all that. We all want to travel again, of course. So why not start planning that vacation right now? Obviously you don't have to book anything, but you can figure out, okay, what part of town would I stay in? What hotel would I stay at? What Airbnb would I want to stay at? Um, what kind of restaurants would I be going to? What activities would I be doing? Just make a list of all the stuff that you'd be doing. Make a little itinerary. You could spend a day just having fun, pretending like you're able to travel and going on this trip. And it's a great way to spend an afternoon. It scratches that little travel itch. And then once things open up again and you can travel, you've got a trip plan. If you want a lower maintenance way to do this, you could just create a Pinterest board of a city or country that you want to visit and just pin a bunch of stuff, pin pictures, guides, itineraries, restaurants, food, whatever from that country. And then you'll have a little collage of fun stuff. There are so many different options of books, whether they're educational um, books about traveling to a certain place. There's also books that are like autobiographical, kind of like the book Wild. Um, there's also fictional books about certain destinations that you can read. You could just Google like books about London or books that take place in London. You just Google is your friend here. There's a million books on Amazon that you can just download to your Kindle or to your phone or to your computer and just read a book that has to do with a new place that maybe you want to visit and maybe you'll learn some things for when you want to travel again when we can travel again. If you do end up traveling now or in the near future, I do have some videos here that can be all about how to travel in the safest way possible. I have a playlist on my YouTube channel of traveling during COVID if you wanna check that out. And I'll link some stuff in the description too. Guys, thank you so much for watching. If this was helpful to you, feel free to give it a thumbs up. I post new videos every Sunday, so subscribe if you want more of that and I'll see you then. Happy travels. So if you want to take all those pictures that you took, print them out, you can do like snap. So if you want to take all those pictures, get them printed either at like a Walgreens or a like, I don't know, Staples, whatever. Just Google local printing near you. God, I'm really bombing this.